What's going on YouTube? My name is TW Fractured, and today I'm going to be bringing you something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing a unboxing of a Steel Series Sensei Raw rubber surface mouse. Um, so I'm going to go into why I decided to get this mouse. Um, so the mouse I had before. The Death Adder, I don't even know when it's from. I think I've had this for at least like four years, I want to say. This thing has held up fantastic. Um, but I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. Um, it makes some weird creaking noises now. It's like falling apart almost. Um, so I decided it's finally time for a new mouse. I've been deciding between a few different mice, um, the new Death Adder, the 2013, um, the Corsair M65, and this one. Um, so I finally decided on going with this one. I'm going to test it out, see if I like it. Um, if I end up not liking it for whatever reason, I will just I'll return it and pick one of the other ones. But I think I'm really going to like this one. So I'm just going to jump into having it out of the box. Okay, now that I have the box open, here's the mouse. So, uh, as you can see, it has the nice braided cable, which is always good to see on a mouse. Um, they're just a lot more durable. Um, yeah, they just last a lot better. The mouse itself has a great rubber finish. Like, it just, it feels great. It's a ambidextrous mouse. So, as you can see, it has, you can use it left or right handed, so it's got buttons on each side. I think this is a DPI changer, you can then switch between two DPI settings. Uh, the mouse wheel feels nice. Um, yeah, overall, it's a great feeling mouse in their hand. Um, size comparison between the two, it's honestly just ever so slightly smaller, um, but just barely. Um, weight is just about the same, um, so the weight's not really an issue with one being a lot heavier than the other. I don't have to adjust to that. Um, comes with a sticker. If you like stickers, uh, I never use them. I like them, but I never put them on my case because I like it to look nice and clean. Um, wow, this thing of all different products that you could get. I actually need to get one of those. Uh, 6G V2 with the cherry red switches because my Razer Lycosa has just about had it too. I've actually had that longer than the mouse and it is time to go. Uh, this thing is a quick start guide if you need that. I don't know why you would. You just plug it in, download the software, you're good to go. So, yeah, that is the Unboxing, a slight quick overview comparison to the Death Adder of the Steel Series Sensei Raw with the rubberized finish. I definitely didn't want to get the like frost blue or the gloss because glossy surfaces are no good. So definitely the rubberized. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown of downloading the um, software to go with the mouse. So if you go to the SteelSeries.com, uh, up at the top, go to Support, and then Downloads, you'll get to this page. So you can either find your mouse in the list or just download it from down at the bottom, the SteelSeries engine. Download it for Windows or Mac, uh, whatever you have. I'm just going to go ahead and download this now. Okay, so just a quick tip before... Oh, Okay, before you down like I would say before you install the engine, just uh, do the firmware update just in case. Um, okay, now that the software is installed, um, I'm going to give you kind of a run through of the software. Um, so we're going to explore this together because I have no idea what I'm doing in this, but I did do one thing so far. Um, in the buttons up here at the top, I disabled button 7 and 6, um, which are, are the ones on the right side of the mouse where basically my ring finger rests. Um, I don't see myself ever really using those, 
So I've decided to, to just disable them. So you just click on the button, come down here to action, and you can pick what you want. And I've disabled them because I see myself just hitting them on accident and it, I don't know. I just don't want them. I don't think I'll ever use them. So let's see what else we have. It shows your devices um, if you have any other SteelSeries devices. So when I get the keyboard, I believe it will show up there and I'll be able to customize that. In the settings, you can change your CPI. Um, so basically, um, if you have the LED on or off, you can change what CPI uh, is what what the CPI setting is for each one. Uh, the polling rate, I usually just leave it at a thousand. I don't. That some people like it lower, but I don't know why you would do that. Um, you can do the illumination down here on the mouse. Uh, you can change the intensity and the pulsation to uh, your liking. Properties, let's see what it says over the profile property section allows you to rename your profile as well as associate the profile with any programs. Okay, so if you want specific settings for a specific game or anything like that. Um, statistics. What are statistics? <laughs> Tells you how frequently you use each button of the mouse. And... Huh. Interesting. Yeah, some people might care about that. I don't see myself ever really caring about the statistics of my mouse. But, um, so, software is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can set up your profiles if you want to have different buttons, like if you're going to use the side buttons. Um, you can have them do different things depending on what game you're playing. Um, just easy settings right here. And, yeah, you can uh, control all your SteelSeries devices that you have. I only have the one, but I like it so far. Um, so, thank you for watching, and have a good one. <laughs>